Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you a complete start to finish install of the ventilation system on your home starting from the vent fan up to the ventilation duct and onto the vent cap. So stay tuned for this amazing video. You wouldn't want to miss it. So thank you once again for tuning in. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please press that subscribe button and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Part one of this video is gonna be ventilation fan replace and install. There's gonna be three parts on this video, so if you don't feel like watching all three parts, I'll leave the quick link down below in the description so you can skip right along. But I highly suggest that you watch the whole thing so you know how to install this fully, completely, and accurately. So if you look into where it was attached um, before, it was attached to one of this joist right here and it was attached to a small beam that I'll show you in a little bit. The vent fan that we'll be using today is the Panasonic Whisper Easy Fit. I chose this because it is very quiet. It's not as loud when you turn it on and you'll see later on. It does come with two settings. It come with all the parts, the brackets, the caps, and it comes with the hardware as well. Now it does also have the the ventilation outlet right here and also a mini J box where you can install the power source. What I like to do is take out the uh, ventilation outlet duct and also the where it's attached with the J box because we'll be attaching that later on. If you measure this box, it is measured up to 10 and a half. So it's perfect. So you know what exactly the measurement if you're not going to be using the template. Now we're going to go access the attic area. We're going to, I'm going to be showing you what's going on up there and what we're going to be having to clear out before you actually make a cutout make sure everything is nice and cleared up there what i saw here was this two by four that was in the way from the old installation i need to take this off because the new ventilation that i'll be putting on is going to be a lot bigger so it looks like the old owner put this two by four so we'll just have to take this two by four off move it to the left side we'll reuse it so I don't have to cut for a new one. And we'll use this for security for that vent. All this space now. What's cool about this um, kit is it comes with this template already. And you remember how we measured 10 and a half excess? This actually measures 10 and a half by 10 and a half. We're going to use this to stick it up for our template. Since we already have the joist right here and from here to this joist to the other joist is about 23 inches center. We're going to start from here and then work with our template. Use our template from this edge and go from there. Right after we put that joist, I'm going to secure it with masking tape. Again, be careful not to touch the ceiling with your oily hands to avoid getting dirty and make sure you double check on the measurement. Trace out the template. And then as you can see right there, it is pretty much as minimal cuts as we can. I'm using my box knife in a straight edge, just uh, scoring the top right there. And then after you score it, I'm going to be using this keyhole saw. I'm going to make a few cuts here and there with the keyhole saw, but not all the way so that I can pretty much just snap it, um, making it easier for me so I don't have to use the keyhole saw all the way. As you can see, you can just cut it after you score it. Now I'm going to be just temporarily placing this ventilation fan on the top so I know that where it hits and where to place my 2x4s when we go up into the attic. So let's go up in the attic and let's do this. But before I do that, I'm going to use this uh, the cap, cap it off to prevent any dust from entering in. See here, I cleared the path for the 2x4. I'm going to screw it from this end, screw it to the other end, and then we can use this for support. Now we can get this. I'm gonna take this thing off again, insert this with it. Make sure you take off this tape right here so I can slide it through this um, slot, this lip. Take this off and then we can finally secure this end, this loose end to this two by four. I'm gonna put back this screw so that the ventilation outlet does not move. So before you operate any electrical, make sure you turn off the breaker. I'm going to take off the old power source from this old um, exhaust fan. 
as you can see the old owner didn't put a ventilation duct going out of the house they just let it blow out of here to the attic which is the very wrong way to install this we're gonna take off the power here I just disconnected the power turned off the power from my main circuit breaker but to double check let's use this I like using my Milwaukee uh, voltage detector I'll leave it in the link down below all the tools I use I love using this because it pretty much detects if there's power if there's red if there's power it will make a sound so let's open up this J box so the wire connectors that we'll be using today are the Wagos. I love these I'll leave this in the description down below but these are the only connectors that I use mostly um, you can just pretty much open these up just like this insert the wire there and just close in up, close them up I love these connectors must use these every time you're using with um, working with wiring they are must-have I always keep a bunch of these in stock now well, we're just gonna feed the wire through I'm gonna tighten it down These wires are kind of long so I'm going to cut them off a little bit. So with the way it goes, you just open them up, slide it through, close it. If you have exposed cop copper, cut it down and then put them back. Now just match it up. Hot to hot, neutral to neutral, ground to ground. So once that's capped, take your harness and then plug it back to the power like what you see here. Choose your setting, 80 CFM or 110 CFM. I choose to put it to 110 every time. Turn it on and you should see it moving already. Be careful, don't touch that. Now part three is a very fun one. We get to go up in the roof. We're gonna be installing the vent duct and roof vent cap. Here are all the tools that I'll be using for my ventilation install. I got the 25 foot of four inch. Um, now this is a flexible insulated ducting. It already has the insulation on it. I have the four inch exhaust out here. Now I'm gonna be using this Loctite roof and flashing caulking. I got these four inch hose clamps and this special tool right here. This is five inch in diameter. Now this is gonna be our hole saw. As we can see, it's a five inch also got your ventilation tape all this I got an Amazon I'll leave it in the link down below so you can find it if you're ever gonna be doing any installation I'll make it easier for you and I'll leave all the links of these tools and materials that I use throughout this install on the description below so please go and check that out in the attic let's turn on the lights here there's the outlet that's where we're gonna be attaching the hose Right here, as you can see, it's already insulated. And if you dig deep inside, here's our vent. It already has the wires. So first things first, we're gonna take our hose clamp and then put it over the outlet like that. And slide the, the clamp over Then take the insulation and wrap it over. What you can do is you can take vent tape and wrap this over it just to um, secure it. It's not going to pull out. So there you go. I'm just going to mark it where the vertical is. Estimate it right there. So I'm not going to cut this yet. I'm only going to cut it once we get this and the exhaust vent um, tubing 
inside. I'm actually going to leave the drill bit right there. See that? I'm going to leave this drill bit so that when I go up the roof, I know where exactly where this this right here. So we got all the materials that we need right here. And if you look on the roof, you can see where that drill bit is. So this is where we're going to start drilling. I'm not going to directly place it onto the middle. I'm going to move it up a little bit so that this shingle will overlap this tab right here. This one already has a built-in uh, drill bit. it on the slope so this end is going to be pointing down to the slope of the house so right where the opening is i like to make a small square around that uh, diameter hole i'm just clearing up all the the shingles because this is where we're going to be placing most of that um the tar around there so what we're doing is placing enough tar around that hole so that when we place this box we can easily set it in I'm gonna be using these roofing nails to say further secure this um, down put it on both sides and make sure you use more of this roof um, tar and put it over any seams to prevent any water leakage so I added a little bit of more excess right there just in case and underneath there as well so there you have it there's our ventilation and we're now gonna just cut to length up to here. There you have it, it's connected by a clamp. There's your clamp. Now we're going to tape this up using the HVAC tape. There you have it. All nice and wrapped. So there you have it friends. All the insulated vent duct is installed up to the vent cap coming from the vent fan itself from the bottom. Let's turn it on and see how powerful this thing is. So now I gathered a bunch of these pine needles and let's see how it it just blows off my hand that's how powerful this thing is and it works just perfect so once again friends if you found this video super helpful please hit that big thumbs up for me subscribe and press that notification bell so you can always be in tune on diy's how-to videos and product reviews that i do within this video i'll see you on the next video friends thank you so much for watching